All right, uh, this video is another video that's inspired by a conversation in the, the Facebook page. Uh, this one was in regards to party composition. Now, the, the standard is fighter, rogue, wizard, cleric. You know, obviously some people will throw in a bard as their fifth or whatever, um, just to round out the party. I can't stand when everyone is like, hey, let's fill certain roles. I like the idea of making whatever characters you want. Now, if that ends up being a three fighter, one rogue party, that's fine by me, or three fighter, one cleric party, or however you want to do it. Uh, but I, I like the idea of the players picking a class that they want to play, making the character that they want to play, and then in game, growing their character. So maybe they're all together, it's a all fighter, one wizard party. Okay, so it's like three fighters, one wizard. Well, now you realize, man, if we ended up running into this, we need to figure out how to be able to pick locks. So maybe one of the fighters or the wizard tries to focus on making up for that weakness. Uh, maybe, oh, we don't have a healer in the group. Maybe we befriend a local church and see if we can hire a cleric to come with us and all of that money will go right back to the church. Or, oh, maybe we hire a rogue from the Thieves Guild. You know, so there's various things you can do. Maybe one of the fighters decides after a couple levels he's not unique enough from the party and he goes, I'm going to multi-class in cleric so that I can heal us. And now I'm different from the rest of the party. You know, so there's various ways you can do this. Um, and I think it adds a lot more flavor to the game when the players are growing their characters based on the relationships in game and they're they're changing maybe their original idea was that I'm gonna make this badass fighter. Alright, and they can still do that. Um, but they just every couple of levels they're also taking a little bit in these other weaknesses to round out the party. Everyone's still playing the character they wanted in the beginning. And now they're growing as a team. And that's just like any relationship. Like in marriages, two people, for example, um, they are who they are. But you try to adapt who you are to fit the other person and make everything go smoothly. Just like in a game, I feel like you're going to try and adapt as things go to make things go smoothly. Now, when I'm running for a group like this, um, sorry, I'm going to adjust this. My arm's getting tired and I don't feel like putting this on the base. When I'm running uh, a game for some for this, um, I try to take into account that, hey, they don't have a healer. Maybe I'll throw in a, um, you know, some heal an extra healing potion or two in this dungeon or in this situation. Or, oh, this, this merchant wants you to deliver some stuff for him. He knows it's dangerous. So, hey, here's a... a heal critical wounds potion you know so there's various things you can do um you don't have a wizard well whatever you don't have a wizard you don't have a rogue okay there's probably not going to be anything you can't break open i guess then i'm not gonna say you don't have a rogue you know you're at first level oh well you can get to the second door in this building and you're stuck because it's an iron door no, there's going to be other ways you can get past the obstacles. I'm not going to end certain things. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, because if I'm doing it the way I was discussing before, I'm not going to say, hey, you know, you you don't have any fighters. Uh, you're made up of rogues and clerics, right? I'm not going to throw any monsters at you. No, I'm throwing monsters at you. All these things you're going to have to adapt to and get stronger and find a way to work as a key, cohesive unit in game not before game you know yes you're going to be together before game but i want everyone to be their character and then whoever decides to take one for the team like take an extra skill in this for the team that's up to them so yeah that's my rant about party composition um let me know what you guys think uh, if you agree or disagree and be sure to tell your friends about this video and share it maybe your gaming group could benefit from some of these videos and, uh, yeah. So, thanks. Bye.